Okay, so uh, real quick, I just wanted to do like a quick uh, mini tutorial on a few key things. Uh, so first of all, one of the things I notice you doing uh, quite a bit is when you grab the bottom of a ledge, uh, you don't jump up immediately. You tend to walk a bit. I call this walking, uh, walk, hanging, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you move a little bit while you're hanging on. And obviously this is a slower pace than walking. It's not a huge deal. I uh, just thought I'd point it out. Um, what I typically do is I mash the button a couple times. Uh, once you do it enough, you have the timing down. You don't really need to mash, but uh, for me, I just press the button like three times in a row. About at the time that I'm going to land, and it just gets you up a little bit faster. Um, so uh, this section right here, what I typically do is jump up. I get the nympho. I walk to the edge. I jump and I get the fire wheel. I land and I get the sword. Jump up. Now this section right here, you have a couple options. Uh, I'm actually going to save state back here. So first option is the, the normal way that I like to do it. Is I jump them out. I jump pretty much in the middle here. And then you can jump down and get through. Uh, it's, it's I do that because Ninja Gaiden 3 uh, US, uh, there's an extra enemy there. So it's easier to do. Um, alternatively, you can go to the edge here and jump, kill that guy, and just walk off. And you're through. Um, the other thing that uh, I wanted to address real quickly uh, for you. Um, when you come to an edge on a platform, I notice a lot of times uh, you go all the way, let me kill this guy really quick, you go all the way up before you jump, and in Ninja Gaiden 3 you don't really need to do that. Uh, you can clip through a lot of edges. So let's say you don't make this jump. Um, I can hold left and tap the jump button again and I jump right through. So as long as you're close enough to the top, you can hold in the direction that you want to go and then press the jump button again and you'll go right through it. So that's just if you don't make that jump, if you jump a little bit too soon. But it looks really clean, uh, you don't lose a lot of time. Um, but like jumps on ledges, like right here, um, you kill these guys just in the way. You can actually clip through uh, these these sections right here by quite a bit. Uh, so you go, let me figure out where the exact spot is. Right there is about as low as you can go. But it saves quite a bit of time when you do it throughout the uh, you know throughout the whole game. Now this this one you can't really clip through very well. So you want to make sure that you go all the way to the top of it to go through. But this one you can. Just takes a little getting used to trying to actually find like the optimal place for it. But it does save quite a bit of time uh, overall. You know, it only looks like maybe half a second or something right here, but you add that up throughout your entire run and you're looking at 20, 30 seconds at least. Maybe not quite so much, but, uh, you know, a good deal of time is lost uh, with the extra climbing. So just thought I'd mention that uh, to help you through. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you grab the fire wheel, and you go up here and kill that guy, clip through. You can use the fire wheel right there. And then clip through these uh, platforms. Jump, kill that guy, and you're through. So that's all. Just wanted to share those couple things with you. Hope it helps.
So, uh, for Act 2, I'm just gonna show this really quick. Uh, you wanna make sure that you get the fire wheel. Right there. Alternatively, if you don't get it in the first spot, you can always just get it right here. This next section, um, it might be worth it to you to just grab the big sword just to get through those guys. So just go to the edge here, jump the edge, throw your fire wheel, and you get through. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, um, just dropping like that might do just fine. So an easy way to get through this section is to come to the edge here and you jump, 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 jump. Jump. The third jump is optional, uh, if you want to take your time with that, that shouldn't be a problem, uh, but jump, jump, so in section 32A, uh, you want to get to the bottom of this waterfall right here, and then you can jump over to this guy without taking any damage, and that makes it really easy to use your fire wheel to get through. On 4-1-A, if you happen to miss picking up the sword upgrade, don't wait around for it. Uh, you can pick it up later. Just go here, get your uh, your fire. Let's get to the next section. 42B. Uh, if you have the Nempo, you just jump through. And then on this uh, this first one, do a very big jump and you jump all the way through. To the very edge, and then just constantly jump up. Saves quite a bit of time 